Hey there, it's Lisa, Forever Clean Soapworks. How you doing? I am whipping up a batch of jewel weed soap. I had been given some jewel weed juice from a friend, and that's why this is so dark. <laughs> and I'm gonna make some jewel weed soap with lavender and eucalyptus oil in it. I have my oil in here already, and I have some goat milk. I always put my goat milk in separately from the lye so that it doesn't scorch. We don't want stinky soap. <laughs> anyway, I am going to get this going real quick. And it's a triple batch. So I'm going to make some brown soaps and some loaf soaps. I let my lye water get cool. When I say cool, I mean it is barely, barely warm at all. That kind of stinks. <laughs> Anytime it's anything other than just plain water, stinky. I'm going to bring it to a light trace because I want to do some colors. If you don't know what jewel weed is, it is found, it's a weed, and it is found near poison ivy. The uh, old wives' tale is that jewel weed is put by poison ivy and Mother Nature did that so that you can use the juice from the jewel weed to neutralize the poison from the poison ivy. I just make it into soap. I've never gotten poison ivy myself, so mm. I don't know if it works, but mm. people like it. The soap is, you can tell it's, it's brown. I said I'm doing a light trace. A light trace is basically emulsified. Now because I'm going to use the mixer when I mix in the fragrance oil, I'm not going to keep going here. I am going to pour some in and do my colors real quick though before I do the or essential oil. I didn't have a big cup, so I'm doing two green and one yellow <laughs> because the flowers on jewelweed is yellow. They are yellow. They're very pretty. And once you see the flowers, you will know what jewelweed looks like. And the stem of jewelweed is thick and contains a lot of juice. My colors, of course, Mad Micas. It's all I ever use. And this one is lettuce, like lettuce, entertain you. Very pretty color. No, I don't measure. <laughs> I know some of you are going to go, what? How will I know how much to put in there? Well, you'll have to give it a try and see how it works for you. You know what? I think I'm going to get my little mixer. Because I filled those up too much. Handy dandy little mixer. It's actually a milk frother. Most places sell it. It's like eight bucks. And it is... Oh, nice. I love the little mixer. It doesn't mix as fast when, you know, you got thick soap or whatever, but it's good enough. 
look at that color. Holy cow. It's gorgeous. And with this little handy dandy thing, it only takes a minute. Yay. Okay, so that is the green I'm going to use. This one is Taxi Cab. Very pretty, and I like this color. Now, if you go into my description and click on the affiliate link, I will receive a small commission if you order within 24 hours of clicking that link at no addition. <laughs> no additional cost to you. <laughs> Let's just make a mess, shall we? There are so many yellows that they have. Um, some of them morph and they'll turn like orange and then turn back. <laughs> I don't remember if Taxi Cab does that. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. There we go, it's done. There it is. Have a little bit of titanium dioxide, but I'm going to put my fragrance in first. Essential oil, sorry. I'm using the essential oil. I wanted it to be an essential oil because it will help if you've got poison ivy and you want to wash that yucky oil off after you touch poison ivy. That's the key is to get that oil washed off right away. Burp it so you don't everywhere. I have made lavender eucalyptus soap several times now because it smells fantastic. I do mean fantastic, and it sells very quickly. So it is going to be one of our regulars from now on. I have a little bit of titanium dioxide. We want to lighten this up a little bit. <laughs> Did you see that? Oops. Yeah, this is really brown, and I wanted to lighten it. All right. Now I did not totally mix it, so my white's going to be swirled. This is going to be an in the pot swirl. Nothing fancy. I mean, we do get fancy here, but this is so simple to do. So simple. My green. Let us entertain you. <laughs> it is a gorgeous green, though. It really is. This is going to be a very pretty coat. Do it at different heights so it gets way down to the bottom. Okay. I am going to pour some round soaps and then some loaf. So round pouring. Very difficult to pour out of this big old bucket, but not impossible. You just gotta be careful. I'll fix that. A little bit too much. That one's a little under poured. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm just going to scoop a little bit of this. 
this over to the other one. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to give it a minute before I tamp it down because it'll go all over. I guess I could have, <laughs> like, not poured it right over the handle. You know me, I just, whatever. A mess. It's my usual MO, isn't it? Make a mess. It's fun though. Alrighty. You can see I've got a nice mess here, but I will fix this. I want that to go in here, this to go in here. A little bit much in there. my rom soaps. Like I said, I will tamp them down in just a minute after it sits for just a second. Now, loaf soaps. I am going to give this a just a slight, very slight swirl. It's getting kind of chunky. And I want the color to be in a little bit. Now, how do I know how much to pour in here? Years and years and years and years and years of practice, but I still weigh it. So, I will leave that there. I will pour some of this, and then we'll pop them up on the scale, see how close I am. Use all of it. I want to see how close I am, and then we'll pop them off. Yeah, that one's going to weigh a little more. Okay, here's how I weigh them. I don't care what they weigh, as long as they're both the same <laughs> or close to the same. Ninety point six five. This one will not be. Eighty five. <laughs> Green. Ninety point seven five. So I can add a little bit to each one. That would be good. Try it again. Sorry, my, I don't know why it keeps shutting off. It's a very weird, weird thing. Anyway, I'm just going to tamp these down just a smidge. And they're good. So, let's do some whoop-de-doos. Here's the thing. You don't like it? I'll redo it. Sometimes it's not thick enough, and so I do it, and I'm like, no, I can't. It's not thick enough. It's 
not too much right now. Let's make it a little pretty one. See, it's not really holding up because all my little doohickeys are falling. <laughs> Let's try that here. I'll swoop it on one side. And once again, my video stopped because I had too much stuff on there and it was full. Okay, just finishing up my little swoopies. They are nothing fancy, but you know, they give it a little texture on the top. So what do you think? You like it? Okay, let's see. Gonna give these a few, I, think I, I like that one better. I'm going to give them a few minutes to sit before I take them into my drying room. They'll dry four to six weeks. I do have a dehumidifier in there, so usually by four weeks they're pretty dry. And we'll put them out to sell. Thanks for watching. Just a quick video today. I will try to make more of these, I promise. <laughs> you have a good day. Bye.